Today is day 106 of my COVID-19 blog. And at the very start of the lockdown, I remember my uncle telling me that we needed to count to 100 days. And once we got to 100 days, things would be a lot, lot easier and a lot better. And when we first started counting, I think we were on about day 10 or 15. And it seemed like the 100, the 100 days were going to take forever and ever. And I just can't believe now that we're actually past those 100 days. And it definitely feels like things have gotten a lot easier. You know, I feel a lot more positive. Um, some of the rules now have also been further relaxed. So now things that weren't open before are allowed to open. So hairdressers, pubs, restaurants are now open. Um, also, the, one, the two metre social distancing rule has been reduced to one metre plus. And also, we now allow another household into our house. So two households are allowed to meet up inside. Um, inside. So that's really, really positive. And as I've said, I feel a lot more positive about those changes. Also, the first sort of six, seven, eight, nine, ten weeks of lockdown, um, I would often go on a walk around my local estate if I was feeling a little bit stressed or anxious. And I think it was about two days ago when I said to my grandparents, well, I'm going to go on a walk around the block. Um, and it was the first time I'd been on that particular walk when I hadn't fe felt anxious or stressed. Uh, my grandparents always knew that when I went on that walk, it was because I was anxious. And it was just because I felt like going on a walk. And, you know, it felt really good to be going on that walk when I wasn't feeling stressed or anxious. Also, I've been doing a lot of online webinar talks now. So last week was probably the best week I've had during lockdown. And one of the reasons was because I did two webinar talks. I did one to a bank and one to a law firm. And I remember uh, someone told me that on one of the talks, I had about over 300 people from offices all around the globe listening in. And it's just really, really fantastic to be able to educate and inspire people about Asperger's and autism from the comfort of my own home and without having to travel a long way away to different cities and places in the UK. So that was really, really enjoyable. Uh, and one of the reasons why I, I had such a good week and felt so positive. Yesterday, I was also speaking to one of my friends who also has Asperger's. And he was telling me that he really wants to educate his employers about what it's like to work with Asperger's uh, and to have uh, Asperger's and autism in a workplace. And you know, it's really interesting to hear the things that he needs help with at work or may struggle with. Because, you know, that's what I try and do in my talks. I try and educate not just employers, employees, but parents, teachers, anyone who wants to know more about autism and Asperger's. And I try and educate them on what it's like to live with, to work with, to go to school with. And also, you know, why I look upon it as something positive. Because yes, there are challenges and there are struggles. But there are also many positive elements of my Asperger's. And those are the things that allow me to do what I do. And you know, I always believe, and what I do I really, really enjoy, I absolutely love presenting talks and inspiring and educating people. So, you know, if you do what you love, then you will love what you do.